All right, hello, hello. I have literally never, ever recorded a voiceover in my life, so I'm a little bit excited and also a little bit nervous to do this. Um, right now, I am getting ready to work on my journal with me from my recent trip to Atlanta. So my mom, my sister, and I all went to Atlanta over Memorial Day weekend to see Ed Sheeran. Um, it was the best concert ever. Ed Sheeran is one of my favorites and I've known about him for so long that it's always such a pleasure and like almost a privilege to be able to see him. But anyway, so, um, this is my journal with me. Um, the first thing that I made was like this little insert thing that opens and closes for pictures from the Coke Museum because that was something that we did, um, that was like a really big thing for us. We love Coca-Cola. I had my first Coke in five years when I was there and it was wonderful. Um, I stopped drinking soda a while ago just because it's, it's just, eh, wasn't doing anything for my health. Um, so I have just some bits from the Coke museum. That's the back of a receipt that I just taped down. And now I am taping or sticking down a vinyl sticker that I bought. Um, it's just like a crate of Coke. It's actually pretty cool. And I, again, like I move things around before I figure out where I want to put them and then I stick them down. Um, and that's just a piece of the front of the receipt that has like the Coke store on it and like the Coca-Cola logo. So just taping that down. Um, we did a lot while we were there. We went to, so the first day we got there, we got to our hotel and like went to see Ed Sheeran. And then the next day it was Sunday we did like the Coke Museum, Olympic Park, the Seattle or the Seattle, the Atlanta like skyline sky wheel thing that they have. And then we went to like the CNN Center. So but because this is like has like the Coke postcards and stuff on it, I just wanted to talk mainly about that. And the Coke Museum was like the coolest thing ever. If you're ever in Atlanta, I really recommend you going there. It was just like really fascinating almost because like Co the recipe for Coke was is kept such a secret. And like behind this picture that I just put up to the camera, that's the secret vault where the recipe for Coke is actually kept. And like if you crossed the line in front of it too much, like security would come because they thought you were trying to steal Coke or the recipe for Coke. But it was just like really fascinating, um, like learning how it was created and what it was made for and just like how it ended up having bottling rights and like turning into a soft drink and how many people made replicas and said, oh, no, like I created Coke first and we've been drinking Coke for so long. But no, it's like it was actually this one guy who just decided to make Coke. And they also had um, all kinds of like really super cool old Coke stuff from like around the world. So there was like um, like a Korean Coke sign. I think it's a Coca-Cola mo Masho, Masho or Masho Soyo, which are like, or something like that. It was like, it definitely said drink Coke, but I can't remember the exact vocabulary. But um, I like, I know for a fact that's what it said. And then they had like all these posters and all this just really cool, like old soda fountain stuff. And like you walked in and there was like an, like an antique Coke bar. Um, it was just really, really cool. And because, it, like, a guy who started it was, like, a pharmacist, like, they had all kinds of pharmacy supplies and all of that. So I finished with the Coke stuff, and you can see, like, I taped two pages of my journal together and made, like, a little pocket for it, and it just, like, slips right in. Um, I had way too many pictures that I printed for, like, one page, so I thought that that would be a pretty cool way to do it. And, like, it has a little tabby thing, so you can pull it out. That's what I love about journals like this. You can kind of just do whatever you want. Um, so after the Coke Museum, we, uh, we went to Olympic Park because it was all in the same area. But after we did all of that, we went to Pont City Market. Um, I have been to Pont City Market before. It was not my favorite place, just like when I went the first time, just because it was all like so crowded there. Um, because it's like a food hall and a marketplace and like you can like a mall, basically like a mall with like a food hall in the middle of it. It's actually kind of cool. But now, like now that I'm older, but I went to this bookstore called Posman Books or Posman Book. Not sure how you say it. And, um, I got that really cool Pont City Market sticker and then they gave me a free bookmark, which was really kind and really cool of them. And as you can see, I don't want to like take it, like take up a whole page and like to figure out how to do it. So it fits, so I cut it in half. 
the bookmark because I mean it was free like I don't care if I'm cutting it apart if I didn't pay for it so so um I just kind of layered it up it was really annoying because I couldn't like layer it the way I wanted it to look and still keep the city part but even like even after I trimmed it down so that sticker in my journal now just says Ponce Market instead of Ponce City Market but it's okay um I don't really mind it does not bother me that much um I say as I talk about how annoying it is. <laughs> and then um, on the left right there, like I, like it's on my left on the screen, but on your right, there's like a Starbucks gift or a Starbucks business card. And I thought that was really cool because it's actually in Braille on the front. Um, and that picture I just held up is one of me, my mom and my sister in the Atlanta skyline thingy, the Ferris wheel, basically a London eye, but for Atlanta. And then it was really nice that day. It was like 73 and sunny and beautiful. Um, Just laying down pictures from Olympic Park and some other stuff we did in Atlanta and then deciding what I want to use and what I don't because there were a couple of pictures I just didn't really need. I just always print out extra. Um, And just laying it out the way I want. I also had a quote that from Olympic Park that I thought was really cool. Um that I'm just going to read while I kind of trim and tape things down for you guys, if I can read it, because the office I'm in right now is a little bit dark. Um, It says, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part, just as in life. The most important thing is not the triumph and the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. And I really loved that quote, because that's like, it's really such a good quote, (laughs) honestly. Um... But yeah, so just continuing to, like, tape things down, I guess. Um, We also went to this really good breakfast place called the Atlanta Breakfast Company. Again, like, if you are in Atlanta, you should go there. Um, But get there early because it's, like, real busy. Um, We thought we... It was actually kind of funny. We thought we were going to have to wait almost an hour and 15 minutes when we got there. But as we were turning around to leave... That we were like, no, we don't want to wait that long. So we were turning around to leave, and like one of the owners or like a hostess turned around and was like, "How many in your party?" And we said three, and she said, "Oh, right this way." So we got into the breakfast place like really, really fast, um, and it was so good, like so fresh, like and like organic ingredients, like just and like diner food though. So it was like actual good quality diner breakfast food, which was really, really cool, and the fried chicken, absolutely phenomenal. Um, let's see, what else do we got? So, also, I'm sorry that, like, my tripod is showing. I, I got a really bad tripod, and, like, my desk isn't as wide as it could be. So, anytime I do a journal with me, you're gonna end up seeing it. So, I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna apologize once, and then not again. So, I, cause that's how it's gonna be. Um, yeah, so just taping down pictures. That was, like, the one I just put down was, like, the Atlanta, like, view from Olympic Park and it's really cool like Atlanta I feel like at least downtown Atlanta it feels like it could be like a very family friendly city just because the park is just gorgeous like you can go there your kids can run around they can play there's there's like the Civil Rights Center and an NHL or NFL museum and the Coke Museum and like all kinds of really cool stuff to do there Um, and just, it's just open space in Olympic Park and it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it there. So I, I would go back, I think, and just like explore a little bit more because when I lived there, I lived in Clarkston. So Clarkston, if you don't know, and you're, if you're not from the States or you're just not aware of it, Clarkston is a really unique place because it's where they send most refugees from, um, like just from all all over the world to Clarkston and I so it's like 10 minutes away from Atlanta so I lived there for six weeks and I was like doing ministry with refugees and stuff so I never really got into Atlanta but now that I've been there and like seen it I actually really enjoy it and here I am just hunting for some stickers that I purchased there at that Posman bookstore. I bought five, apparently five sheets of stickers and then two rolls of washi tape and a book and another sticker. Um, so I'm just trying to decide what stickers I want to use to stick down. And I end up going for a little... Oh, sorry. Not even in the frame. 
wow, I'm really good at this, guys. I'm ju- I'm just out here trying. We're doing our best. We do what we do. Um, I think it's like a little... These stickers were annoying to get off the sheet, just saying. Yeah, it's like a little book stack, and I was going to put it there, and then I decided to put it there. So, yeah, indecisive, but it's kind of fun to be able to move things around and figure it out. Now I'm just putting it back in the envelope, and you can see how ridiculously messy my desk space is, but it's all right. We do what we have to when we're journaling, you know? Um, Yeah, no, I ended up not using those, I think. Yeah. I was just kind of like studying them and trying to decide if there was anything worth it. Decided, nope, 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 and no. And then I, what else am I going to do? I think I go through, yep, I go through one, the stack of pictures one more time. And there was like one more of Olympic Park that fit just right, right by that Posman Books thing. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and stick that sticker down or stick that sticker down, stick that picture down. But before I stick it all the way down, I'm going to lift the end of that sticker up and put it over the corner like you're going to see. Just to be because like I don't like like if I don't have to cover something or it's not like or like I'm not. If I'm not covering up too much of the picture and I think it makes it look better, I do not mind sticking down like stickers on top of things but normally I just don't like to do that and here I am going ahead and cleaning up my space a little bit because I try to stay as organized as possible um normally but this was a whole mess (laughs) I was doing two journal with me um at this time to just kind of like film everything and put it all together and then in a second here oh good I even put the pencil away look at me um looking for a pen I think throwing things away what am I doing I don't know oh there we go I picked up my pen and then just kind of wrote in some really easy kind of just general stuff that we did so right now I'm writing it was a really busy day today we went to breakfast at this amazing place then we went to Olympic Park and then I will also write down eventually um we also went on the Atlanta Eye Olympic Park I bought a bunch of stuff at the market and then at the Coke Museum and I loved this time together with my mom and my sister. Um, And then also like I don't do this on camera but I ended up sticking that Starbucks like gift, not not gift card, business card behind the Posman Books thing because there's just enough room for it to fit and like slide in and out. Um, But yeah, I really loved this trip. It was really fun. We drove down, drove back. Um, and always, is always seeing Ed Sheeran is like an absolute, like if you have not seen him in a live setting and you listen to him, like you need to put him on like a concert bucket list because he is one of the best artists to watch live because he does everything live. So like he builds the entire track up like in front of your face, which is really, really cool because it like, it it's just so different because when artists play, they normally have like a backing track or a band or whatever. And that's great. Like, I don't mind. But when you watch Ed Sheeran, you're being invited into his space, into like in his creative space almost when he does it that way. So it is just a really, really, really cool experience to have and to just really enjoy. Um, And also his set list was phenomenal like he brought give me love back and I have not heard him play that song since like live since his multiply tour in like 2015 (laughs) but yeah so Ed Sheeran definitely worth seeing and that is the gonna wrap up this journal with me I hope you're having a good day or night and I will see you in the next one bye but um yeah so Ed Sheeran was really cool and and we're gonna play it and listening to him build that bridge nothing like it. It's literally like the most amazing thing ever.